It's been five years. Five साल हो गए. I can't believe it's been five years. Really? It's been five years? पता ही नहीं चला यार. पांच साल कैसे बीत गए? I'm not able to comprehend. That a half a decade has passed. But then, I felt it very strange. There's something like coding for which all you need a computer and internet connection, but they don't know anything about coding. And I found it very surprising. Personal computing developed like a hobby uh, back in 60s and 70s in US. But in India, I never heard anyone saying that I code for fun. Coding was always something that is considered that you learn in college and then do some kind of job and hate it. I never wanted that coding should be considered like that. So my idea was: kids are smart, creative. and they play such complex games so why not coding if you just introduce them to coding my hypothesis at that point of time was that they will learn on their own and they will learn to express their creativity through coding so he came to me with this idea in november 2019 i was also not very confident that how we will start coding for kids it was a very new unique idea at that time also and if we are going to talk to anybody people were saying that you are getting crazy like coding for kids is a uh, it's not possible how a 5 year old will start coding or learn coding it was just a company which just started with four or five friends right bunch of people that's how we start that's how all of us start i was fascinated by you know listening to his vision of how he wants to build a company that is where i was all excited 2020 is january when we incorporated the company so 2020 january is the time when we started with our first two set of two three people so abhinav was there jerish was there and like we had just one person who used to design things charan and i were working on curriculum working on everything and then abhinav was there who was actually calling the customers and asking them to get to demos etc yeah i mean i enter this co working space uh, there's a section for coding which is already set and i take a seat for myself in the corner then i see a bunch of folks probably around 15 20 folks who are on their laptops with headphones on and obviously they are pitching to the leads trying to convert them there's a lot of energy kind of going around but then when i see at the the far end corner there's a blackboard any time one of these guys would convert they would stand up from their desk go to the blackboard just mark a count against their name to me that was brilliant i mean there was so much focus on the results how to kind of derive the best out of them right i mean there's a live a uh, tracker of what their efforts are and i think that was the moment i also realized like the very first day it just reinforced my decision of joining podium we you know i mean this company would go far that time uh, edtex were uh, innovating and investing a lot in building the video tool right and when i said we should build a learning platform rather than investing in video how to do it was uh, very challenging and i still remember that we had no idea how to do it we wanted to build uh something where people can come and code on the platform and do a lot of things when i talked to the very first parent to discuss about the program and i saw that she is more excited about this than i am that was a very very special moment nobody looks forward to a tuition class really and still if kids are looking forward to it we have done something right one of the colleague uh, from my previous organization her child was studying at smaul which was smart out right and i sent an email to vikas sharma he hey i got to know these other issues and uh, i didn't even think what they will think i just went along we went ahead and did our best to create curriculums which we think will help kids to go from zero to mastery that was something i really believed in i made sure that you know that is translated in every aspect of curriculum that we design now you can see that there are like 144 session program and 92 big courses 11 year long curriculum but that time we just started with a 24 session program which was a web development program so what happened uh, we started in december so the same first customer who came december january and the course ended and the customer came back to us what's next when rupika gave me a set target that you know this is what we are planning in india to you know scale up to a 10 lakh kind of a number in first month handling around 10 interns like any other uh, student who's fresh out of college i got this opportunity through linkedin this is my first job i was like so excited okay how uh corporate will work uh, i don't have any you know idea right i just out of the college and i came uh, through placement i used to calculate myself where i'm reaching and with respect to people and with respect to numbers it is just unimaginable but yes it actually feels that we are going with the flow and that has been the journey as such you know i remember it was in march 2021 uh, after one and a half year so we raised fund in september 2020 uh, from guild capital and after that 6 uh, months down the line we ran out of money so we did not have money so we had money for 15 days only uh, to run the company so it was march 2021 15th of march i remember still remember and 
first of april we have to give salaries we have to pay salaries to teachers also and lot of things and that time shailendra and i were thinking that how to go next will we be able to survive after 15 days or not late part of 2020 uh, there were many months which we were flat in fact declining we were of course not able to scale indian market i was of course wondering as to how would i you know put my point forward to the management to make them understand what i am actually capable of but things are not working out the team which we had uh, when i joined uh actually fell apart uh, within maybe a year or something i remember one time we were sitting with friends and i just told them we are planning to grow internationally i was sitting with someone who's from out of country he was not from india so i just told him that very soon he will be there and uh, i remember i got a lot of disbelieving uh, expressions at that point of time a startup we have heard that people go international when they are big one important challenge as we started scaling in the us market was how to get ready for scale right so how to be scale ready so that we can handle 10000 20000 or even 50000 students i get a call from rupika saying look uh, india is not working for us um, and uh, a back story that uh, we had also tried getting a few leads from us because we had heard that us market is pretty good and we saw conversions were pretty good on that and she had called me and said uh, look mohit i mean i don't know i mean uh, we might be able to grow at the pace that we require while we are serving the india market what if we just focus on the us market and i was like yeah i mean that makes sense i mean it might be difficult to get leads let's figure out what the channels would be uh, but i mean it certainly promises a much larger and a much better market literally it was a discussion overnight where i spoke to my team i told them guys now we are going to change our sleep cycle overnight we tried changing things and we did a lot of research we looked into a lot of videos as to how we have to talk to customers how we have to understand their perspective because when we were teaching kids in india some of the parents were so happy with the course they boasted about this with their relatives in us and uk i remember one parent from uk called me and she was like i want to enroll in this program and we were really surprised we have 10000 students 12000 students and overall we have impacted the lives of only 30000 students all across the globe but there are millions of students whom we can impact uh, so i think there is a long way to go i would say but i think coming from that phase where we did not have money to run the company and then uh, getting into so much success in terms of getting at tech startup of the year uh, building a team of 350 people 1000 mentors i think from there the journey has been because the team has been together with us overall over the time so we see all the people were there uh, in 2020 there lot of people are still there with us and still trusting in the vision of the company so i think that's one thing second we were listening a lot to the customers so i think the change which happened in march 2021 is when we started thinking that we have to listen to the customers what they are telling what kids want what parents want we have to just change the approach of the company in that particular way so earlier the approach of the company was also different but after that a lot of maturity came in so if you see uh, we had coding courses then we understood okay private tutoring market is much much larger so we went into us canada and so many decisions we took very very fast like we went into us canada it was a span of 15 days you know so we launched a lot of initiatives on the teacher operation side we you know how to ensure teacher attendance teachers punctuality and you know minimize teacher leaves how to assign substitute teachers in case the teachers are not available so how engaged are the students and teachers so we've started tracking more and more things and you know uh, more and more things to the system without uh, human involvement so that we can actually just work on the areas where uh, or on those teachers who are not performing well and the rest of the 80% of the teachers continue to do the job they're supposed to do on their own our usp was group sessions but from there moving around to making our usp as one on one sessions that transition that we had to understand that although we have a usp we still can actually explore and understand things better and make changes that is something that the organization was always ready to you know uh, accept january or probably feb 2021 we decided to kind of touch the us market uh march april 2021 we actually entered the us market now i don't remember the exact timelines but then we hit uh, arr milestone uh, when we hit milestone then we started hitting different geographies like we went beyond us canada to uk to australia uh, and now kind of looking at it all together kind of being a global company you know during mid of september and rupika comes and tells me that danish let's let's make this you know one of the biggest months ever as a team and we were used to you know hitting close to 90 100% targets but that was the month where we planned we will hit for 120 and you know when 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 they discussed this with me and they told me that you know let's paint a picture and get you know get some ideas get some contests done for the team 
I went out of the room and I was like, okay, will I be able to do it? And the team, you know, they were like, हो जाएगा, let's let's plan. And and we were able to hit 125 percent, which was like the greatest month ever for Kodiyam. Then we close a good month, right? So after party is very amazing. One memorable uh, moment for me in Kodiyam was uh, I got married in 2023, right? And uh, Kodiyam, uh, the team threw a bachelor party for me. So. That was really it was crazy. The bachelor party was crazy. We were partying till four o'clock in the morning, and I think I'll always remember that night. I think we were all there and partying till four o'clock in the morning. It was a very personal, <laughs> memorable moment which I had at Kodiyam. Even till date, if you ask someone which is the best event, one of the best events that we have pulled off as a company, they would definitely say CGT. Kodiyam got talent. It was around eleven or eleven thirty in the night. But one problem that day we had. is the restriction part of it because we were in a residential area where all around the people complain that there is something happening in this building we're not able to sleep here there are like three hoysalas and there it is like three hoysalas it's like fully surrounded with police and i'm like what is happening here like you're not supposed to do this in a residential area he called rupika and shailendra ki ask manisha not to you know make a lot of noise and they were like she is not using she is not even using the mic she's just speaking it's just, it's just a normal voice and i was able to you know my voice from the fourth floor it was coming down to the ground floor and from that instance i am known as the loud speaker living loud speaker of kodya i had to go to police station in the night be there till uh, 3 am in the morning write an apology letter and then come back i could not have ever imagined 5 saal pehle ki aisa hoga ki we have we'll have such big team we'll have so many mentors teaching with us so many stu- students learning from us to kafi grateful feel ho raha hai uh, for the entire journey because pata bhi nahi chala 5 saal now that i look back and now where sandbox is uh, you know where uh, i think more than 1.5 million activity has done on the platform i think we've come a long way that meme you must have seen meri selection hui hai it feels like that matlab hum humne kiya hai humne 50000 classes le rahe hain hum saal mein right hamara itna revenue ho raha hai hum itna spend kar rahe hain राइट या फिर हमारे साथ इतने बच्चे दस हजार बच्चे हो गए वी हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टीम ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड प्लस एम्प्लॉयज वर्किंग विद अस एंड नॉट जस्ट दैट वी हैव अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑनलाइन मेंटर्स कम्युनिटी एज वेल वी हैव एट हंड्रेड प्लस ऑनलाइन मेंटर्स वर्किंग विद अस आई थिंक द एटमोस्फेयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द कल्चर एंड हाउ यू आर ट्रीटेड इन द टीम is very important your manager your boss is very important how they are showing what is the career path they are showing what is the opportunity you are getting i am actually grateful to rupika and shrendra that they have you know like given me the space to you know try out and do these experiments i would say the leadership team has made sure that the same principles are followed down towards the respective teams that they are leading or they are heading right i really enjoy the chai sessions that we have here in office our founder always says it's a group of friends who are working together to achieve the goal and the opportunity kodiyang is giving to each and every one in this company it's, it's amazing the journey has uh, been really great for me i joined as a teacher then i got the opportunity to train other teachers as a body trainer and then i got promoted as manager uh, based on the performance so there i used to train the mentors and i used to take, take care of the kpis so overall it was really great we started with first batch of the mentors and when we had the team of 100 teachers that was like that day i was like yes now this is this is a team that i created there i trained them we don't just have mentors from india we have mentors from nigeria we have mentors from indonesia kenya and yes we are planning to broaden ourselves as well with philippine mentors right now sometimes i hear their stories their in-laws or their husbands or wives did not believe that you can earn online and when they earned online and some of them use this money for something as meaningful as financing their pregnancy so i feel a lot of responsibility now towards uh, towards everyone one marker of our success has been the number of classes that we have delivered every month so i remember distinctly the milestone of around 40000 classes which we achieved sometime in 2023 and of course more recently in uh, september october 2020 for we cross 50000 classes so that's been another important milestone that i remember consistently maintaining 50 plus nps is actually a challenging task and we have been doing it consistently maintaining 4.5 plus google rating 4.5 plus trust pilot rating it's not easy right and we have been doing it constantly since last 5 years i think that speaks up not just about one particular team but coding as a whole the way i see coding or education is that uh, education has three pillars so one is learning 
and then practicing and then evaluating yourself right so if i look at these three pillars and these three pillars are something which i am trying to focus on over the last one year and how can coding solve these three pillars i do believe that uh, a good teacher can add a lot of value for a child and that should not change even if you get an opportunity to make a difference in one person's life that's a big thing but we are getting an opportunity to impact so many kids first of all who learn from us but also the team we want to build a company where our own relative kids should come and study so that kind of education we want to give uh, that's anybody we can recommend it to anybody and that's the thing which has stayed till now second thing in terms of culture i would say we wanted to have such people who can take ownership accountability because i had worked in flipkart and i saw that two years for me were amazing overall because i could get that kind of accountability i can build a lot of things over there and the true feeling was that this is my company this is my product so i think that feeling we wanted to inculcate in terms of everyone it feels truly special to be part of this company kodyang uh, and i see kodyang reaching greater heights if you see uh, how the tech industry in the last 5 year has been it has been very negative funding has dried up cacs are rising lot of companies failing but for kodyang to not just survive but really thrive in that environment uh, i think we have done there's something that we are doing good right i mean so uh, feel really proud about it feel really glad Uh, about it and sometimes when i look back and uh, look at my decision of kind of joining coding i feel yeah i mean i took the right step nobody is a bad student they just are at a different level of understanding and we at coding want to create a space where everybody feels like a topper i think in education there is no brand which people or parents recall with right so for example shopping everyone knows amazon flipkart and uh, for travel there is make my trip and all of these right? so there is a strong brand recall for a use case but for education there is no strong brand recall right uh, and that is a big opportunity for us at this current place also we know what are the areas of improvement for us kya cheeze hame aur better karni and that's what i think we are doing uh, every day over here we are very innovative and i think you know we can scale to great heights and be one of the unicorns in the edtech industry very soon right now i look at our office here at uv and we have a lot of people working ac- across shifts right so at that time i could not have imagined that you know after 5 years this is how it would look itna short journey laga 5 saal so i'm just excited ki next 5 saal next 10 saal kaise honge but very very excited and uh, very very happy overall i would say i mean on all fronts we have made a lot of progress and i think it shows up in the kind of scale that we have been able to achieve and the kind of customer satisfaction that we have See, Kodiang has completed five years. If you ask me, I'm super excited for what is next for us. I feel, uh, you know, we'll be a big family in the coming years. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, for being part of the journey. Just be ready for some exciting things to happen. We are a very fast-moving train now. Earlier we were a small bus. Now we are a train, and we are very fast-moving. Just hold on to your seatbelt and play your role well. Remember that we are in this together. Let's build something amazing together for the coming decade.